And look at these trees, these are beautiful. I hope we can find a house maybe with some of these trees, all the Spanish moss, very pretty. Feels romantic. Exactly what I was looking for. We're Amy and Dustin Dorflinger, and we're looking for our dream home in Beaufort, South Carolina. We have two girls, Julia and Tessa. They're six and four, and they're pretty adventurous like us. I'm excited for Julia and Tessa to grow up here if it works out. Just kind of fun to think about the possibilities. Yeah, being able to go on the boat all the time with me and go fishing and not have to drive to the marina like we did before. Yep. Being able to just walk out the back door maybe and get on a body of water on a kayak or a paddle board. Name the South's best small town in 2022. Beaufort is South Carolina's second oldest city, founded in 1711. With over 300 years of American history, this coastal locale has a ton to offer. The Hunting Island Lighthouse, blissful beaches, and plenty of water activities like boating, fishing, and paddle boarding. While most people know Charleston and Hilton Head, Beaufort and the surrounding sea islands offer both cultural southern charm and some gorgeous ocean views. To get from town to South Carolina's islands like Fripp and St. Helena, folks take the Woods Memorial Bridge, made famous in the movie Forrest Gump. Remember when he ran from coast to coast? And because of this beautiful coveted location, the real estate market here, it is hot. Homes have increased 12.5% in value compared to last year, and 43% of homes are selling above the listing price. After Amy and Dustin had two children while living in Washington State, they yearned for a new place to raise their family. They decided to head across America to South Carolina, where Amy went to college and fell in love with the people and Southern hospitality. I'm just really excited now being here to start our new life. Yeah, down here. small town, more low key. Yeah. Live how you want to live, and things can't dictate how that happens. Dustin is eager to live on the beach to take his daughters fishing and paddle boarding. Just being able to afford an oceanfront property is a dream come true for both of them. Now, they just need to find that perfect home. I think there's more golf carts on the road than cars right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I haven't seen a car in about yeah. 10 minutes. We're on island time. I mean, everybody's kind of on bait. It's a permanent vacation. A lot of people come in here typically just for vacation. They fall in love and they look around Beaufort and Fort Royal. You know, this is a very kind of private, rustic atmosphere, very kind of country, like coastal country. There is one home that we're going to look at. Um, it's the Angel Oak home. I mean, it has a great ocean view. I mean, it's paradise. Like, it really is. This is a gorgeous view, Jeremy. Angel Oak Tree, is this where the house got its name? Yeah, they say when the branches hit the ground and come back up, they call them angel wings. It's a four bedroom, five bath. Okay. Uh, it's currently on the market for a million 250, and it's roughly 3,300 square feet. So a bit over the budget. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that we have low inventory, but the reality is the inventory is relatively the same. It's just our buyers are so much more. So we don't have the properties for people. Now, the Dorflinger's budget was 900000 I believe, to get the type of home that they want. Um, I think we're probably going to have to push their budget you know, north of a million. I got to check out the yeah, ocean. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame me. <laughs> nice little patio. I could see us having a fire. We're seeing yeah. some hot dogs with the girls. Good little spot to hang out by the water. Mm -hmm. And we could launch our kayaks right here, paddle boards. Too bad it's not sand beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little more uh, sand. It's, but... a, it's not your typical beach. This is more of like a rustic beach. Right. Yeah. Now we've seen the pretty part. Let's go check out the home. Hopefully that's the pretty part too. <laughs> <laughs> we first met playing softball. Amy was playing third base, had some sweet pinstripe pants on. And I asked his friend, who's that cute guy running into the outfield? And he said, go introduce yourself. Started hanging out after that and it kind of blossomed from there. 
He decided to propose to me uh, doing the same thing, the thing that we love. And we were in the middle of a game. I was playing first base and you were pitching. And then the game stopped and Dustin walked over to me and he got down on one knee and he asked me to marry him. And I said, yes. And then we ended up finishing the inning. And I think I made the last out of that inning. And uh, I remember trying to fit my glove on my hand over this newly minted ring. Um, that was definitely an experience. Wow, it's so open. I really sure. like that. And, and the, the view right when you walk in. Mm-hmm. Nice little sitting area. Pretty. Hey, we don't have a dining room right now, a yeah. separate dining room, so this would be nice. Especially if you have guests over, like a nice spot for all of us to be able to sit and eat. Definitely big enough, a lot of room. And look, a range in Island. Yeah, much bigger than our current one, Yeah, for sure. Lots of counter space. The girls could sit right here. Julia and Tessa could do their homework, cook with me, little breakfast table. What do you think about the carpet? Yeah, interesting. The dead carpet probably gonna need to be replaced. More views. Yeah, lots of windows looking to the water. Let's go see what the bedrooms look like. Before we met, I had a bankruptcy. Due to my addiction in the past, I was an Oxycontin kid turned heroin addict. Uh, at the time when we met, I'd been sober for a few years. And I don't think, uh, we didn't think financially that we'd ever be able to buy a house. We'd be lifelong renters. Dustin was really open about his past with addiction. And just to, to put it all out there, hey, this is who I am. And I really appreciated that about him. I think it drew me to you even more, just the trustworthiness, the honesty, and overcoming adversity. Throughout the years, um, when there's been any hardship, Dustin's always been like, hey, we're gonna get through this. And, and we always do. So I think family, staying together and also just not being afraid to take chances, that's a key um, element of how we, we work through things together. All right, this is gonna be your master suite. Nice and big. Quite the uh, color. Very blue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Definitely leaned into the coastal colors. Oh, well, yeah. I kind of like it. Bigger than our current bedroom now. Yeah, much bigger. Yeah. And large bathroom. Yeah. Both the girls could fit in there. Two sinks. Could you maybe tear this down? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is my side. That's your you side. You don't want to see me brushing my teeth? Nope. We could so negotiate on that side. if we chose. <laughs> and you have your own private porch. Wow, this is a great view. <laughs> yeah, especially off of Master and having the screened in porch. Mm -hmm. Want to just stay here, ditch Jeremy? Yep. <laughs> you got another tea time? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I am in the wealth management industry and had the opportunity to work from home full time over the last year and a half. And that's been a huge blessing because we could really live wherever we want to because I can work from anywhere. My business is Dorflinger Athletics, and I was doing it after my job as a drug and alcohol counselor. I'd come home and do it at night. It ended up growing and becoming something that was feasible as a regular job. And my plan was, as soon as we had Julia, was to be a stay-at-home dad and do that as I could. Can we check out where maybe the girls would sleep? What's up? This would be a good spot for the girls. Nice and big. They could share, or maybe this could be one of them. Yeah. And a Jack and Jill, two sinks, awesome. Second bedroom, nice and bright up here. And they can each have their own bed. Yep. Yeah, this room would definitely need new carpet like the downstairs did. Definitely something you can easily replace, right? Yeah, it's always <laughs> easy if you don't have to do it. Yeah, that's my list. <laughs> Not my job. <laughs> I do want to show you the workshop downstairs. Obviously, unfinished. Right. Yeah, this could work as a good workspace or yeah. shop to work at. How do you feel about this? I wouldn't want my office down here. You're more than welcome to work <laughs> in the humidity. <laughs> it it is a little warm. Yeah. Basically, I just need like an open space. I can kind of build some storage, counter space, and shelf space, and I'm just going to have to endure the heat. So what do you guys think? How do you feel about the angel oak home? I really like it. I really yeah. like the ocean view. The, the breeze from the ocean, the trees driving in, the kitchen. Well, I think it's also got a great workspace yeah. uh, potential for me, is, which is key. 
I'm not looking forward to having to redo floors and carpet okay. or everything else because <laughs> that's going to be so on there. So there's some things you would change. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a very, very competitive market. These homes do not stay on the market very long, like if at all, even a day. Okay. Well, let's see the other ones. All right.